Hi everybody, uh, in this video we will get uh, familiar with the Tabor Electronics Wave Design Studio software. The Wave Design Studio or WDS is the latest in instrument control and signal creation software from Tabor Electronics. The WDS enables full remote control of Tabor's Proteus, uh, SEWX and WS series of waveform generators and simplifies the creation of complex signals with intuitive GUI and application specific add-ons. So here is the WDS icon. We'll double click to launch the software. For uh, detailed instructions on minimum system requirements, uh, software prerequisites uh, and detailed installation instructions, please refer to the WDS user manual available on the Tabor website for, for download. So the program initializes in the communication screen. Uh, in this screen you can select uh, the unit to connect to. Uh, there are three methods of connecting to the unit. In auto detect, uh, the software scans all interfaces and lists all of the Tabor units that are connected to the PC. In manual, uh, the user can manually specify the address and model to connect to and uh, offline offers the ability to use the software without having any instrument connected to the PC. WDS uh, uses workspaces. Uh, workspace includes a full instrument setup uh, and this way users can load and sp a specific workspace and the instrument will be fully configured including waveforms scenario and, and run modes. In the case uh, of multiple units that are identified, uh, select the unit that you wish to control and then select whether to use a new workspace or load a workspace and then click on initialize. You save the workspace and then the unit is connected to and is initialized. Um, so this is the screen layout of uh, the Wave Design Studio and it is composed of uh, several basic elements. Okay, so on the top we have uh, uh, the ribbon tabs uh, that enable the user to access the software menu and navigate between various modes and control windows. The ribbon toolbar right below displays all the control configuration and programming features that are available. On the left part of the screen we have the configuration pane. It is made up of uh, group boxes uh, and this is where all the waveform and control parameters uh, can be accessed and, and changed by the user. Big part of the screen is the composer screen it displays the current waveform that is being edited by the user and on the bottom we have our status bar which gives the user the current state of the unit in terms of uh, communication, function mode, active channel and other relevant information. It also has a couple of shortcut buttons to open the lock command and uh, command editor panes which are displayed on the right part of the screen. On the top right corner uh, there is the channel control which provides uh, easy access and visual indication of the state of the channels so you can turn them on or select uh, a different active channel. And on uh, the top left part is the application menu uh, where a user can access you know, various settings and, and options uh, of the software. So there are six tabs. Uh, we have the Quick Start, Composer, Scenario, Control, Add-ons and System. The Quick Start tab uh, enables the user to quickly and easily generate a waveform from a predefined built-in waveform gallery. The composer tab is where you create and uh, design all of the waveforms that uh, you plan to use and, and generate. 
once all the waveforms are created, for example this sine wave, uh, you add them to the waveform gallery and once all your waveforms are in the waveform gallery you can proceed to the scenario tab. In the scenario tab you can select which waveforms and sequences or tasks uh, are to be downloaded to the instrument. In the control tab there are various uh, system and run mode settings such as uh, the trigger for example or the trigger setup. And in the add-ons tab uh, is where we have optional software packages that are displayed uh, such as radar uh, and, and future signal correction, digital modulation, serial data and more. So for example this is for creating complex radar signals. And the system tab is where you can find information uh, such as the software or firmware version uh, of your instrument. So this was a, a brief introduction to the wave design software. Uh, for more in-depth explanation and examples of how to use the software, be sure to check out uh, more of our videos.